Hi, what's up guys? This is Shravan. Welcome to another vlog. Today we are going to see how to install a GoPro mount or an action camera mount on the helmet. As you all know, being a biker, when we explore multiple places, we always like to capture the things around us. It may be any scenic view or it may be in a special uh, location or some sort of it or even for a safety purpose, we will record the video throughout our way. So the best way of recording whatever we are going to do is via action cam. So many people are having trouble to uh, build a mount on their helmet. So today I am going to show you the best and the easier way which can be done within minutes of time. There is no requirement of MCs, there is no requirement of heavy heavy mounts and all. Thanks to Blue Armor where we are able to get a simplified mount with a strong uh, stability and a very means convenient way of uh, which can provide a convenient way of usage. So let's get started. So as you can see here I have two helmets with me. One is the one which I use for my daily commutes and here is the other one. This helmet basically I use for my touring and weekend rides. As you can see it might be looking very bulky but the thing is it is fully loaded. As you can see there is an action camera mounted in front and you can see an intercom Sena 30k is also installed. So this is my touring helmet. Now what we are going to do is we are going to set up a GoPro mount on my daily commute helmet. This is SMK Twister uh, which costed me around uh, 4300 in a local store now we are going to work on this helmet yeah so this is the mount which i was talking about this is the uh, chin mount which i'm going to use the use to set up the gopro on my daily commute helmet the smk twister helmet which i showed you previously so this uh, mount is developed by blue armor and it is action camera compatible the same uh, mount you can see on my other helmet exhaust stealth helmet which i showed you previously we are going to use the same kind of mount on my other helmet as well so what why we are going to use this when we have multiple mounts like this there used to be a very bulky bulky mounts which we used to struggle uh, struggle to set it up using this uh, uh, 3m tapes this that and all and it used to look very bulky it will not be looking sleek and slim and it will not be like uh, uh, means it will be looking very bulky basically so to avoid that we are going to use this new uh, uh, new chin mount which is developed by blue armor this i bought it from amazon for the price of 399 rupees as you can see 399 rupees okay now we, i'm going to open it up let's keep these things away the delivery was very quick i got it in a day or so blue armor developed this one it will be like a wing which holds this mount over here so how it works by this time you should have understood that when you can see something like this this is very way too flexible it can adjust all over the curves and uh, patches of your helmet so now we are going to install this on this smk helmet as you can see now i wanted this chin to be mounted over here okay if it is a regular mount this will be a very hectic job but if you see this blue armor you are easily and very conveniently you can uh, attach this over here due to the flexibility of these wings which can adjust throughout the curves of it and it will actually fit in a very proper way so what we are going to do now before uh, before setting it up we should make sure we should make sure that the surface of the helmet is clean there should not be any dust particles just clean it up with some bit of alcohol or a deodorant or something. Just clean it up using a bit of cotton. See? There should not be any dust particles. If there is any dust particles that will make the adhesive lose its uh, strength. So it's better to keep it clean and simple. Once you clean it off, as you can see here, uh, the 3M uh, tape is already uh, attach it to this particular mount so you just need to peel this one off trust me this is a very strong it is the strength of it is way too much once you remove this you just need to check the angle in which where you wanted it and just place it like this so i mounted it in the center of my chin area once it is done you just need to Press along the wings so that the adhesive is properly attached to it. See, 
This is way too simple than you imagine. It, it can be just done in minutes. That's it. You are all ready to mount your camera on this now. So let's see how it works. Let's see how it works. Now, if you can see, I'm using the same mount on my XR helmet. As you can see, no mess, nothing. It will actually, uh, actually be very sleek and slim and it will not look awkward like the regular GoPro mounts. Now, I just took it out from this helmet and I can just attach it back onto my this helmet. This is as simple as this. After this, I just need to adjust the angle in whichever way I want it and I can start using. So as you guys saw the setup and how simple it was, I'm going to drop the link in the description. This will be very useful for our biking buddies. So I will be dropping the link for this blue armor. Uh, you can go ahead and purchase it. That's it for now. I will be coming back with another vlog very soon. Thank you all. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay home, stay safe.